Texas Stadium has always been unique. That's because it's more of a symbol than a home. When it opened in 1971, Texas Stadium represented Texas-sized aspirations. Texas Stadium, a jewel mounted in the flatlands of Dallas, was the finest football facility in the world. Even though it was the first NFL stadium built in the suburbs, Texas Stadium was soon on America's marquee. They are the Dallas Cowboys, America's team. The players were household names, but just as famous was the hole in the roof. Texas Stadium's unique open dome design protects all spectators from the elements, yet leaves the game in its natural outdoor setting. They probably didn't want to air condition it, so they had the hole in the roof. I mean, there was reasons that they gave for the hole in the roof to, so God could watch his son coach. It was a more sterile atmosphere. There just wasn't a lot of shouting and noise. It was interesting how the crowd responded after a, a touchdown of a play. It was like, bravo. Bravo. While Texas Stadium didn't give the Cowboys much of a home field advantage, it gave them something far more important, a mystique. The hole in the roof, like the Dallas Cowgirls, was part of the Cowboy mystique. So too was the star at midfield. Carl Owens really trying to tick them off standing on the Cowboy star. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that? It was a symbol worth defending at all costs. He's going to the star. He's going to the star. Oh, and somebody's coming over to tackle him. Oh, oh, no way. This is going to open up a war. For our cameraman, shooting in Texas Stadium was always a losing battle. That was something I discovered in its first season in 1971. That hole in the roof created so many shadows, it was impossible to get the right exposure. Although the lighting helped NFL films capture some of our most memorable images. The sunlight was coming in through the little donut hole, and if you happened to be in that sunlight, it was almost blinding because you were used to the shadow over here. You could hardly see what was going on. In the end, all those silhouettes may be the best epitaph. Texas Stadium, like the franchise it came to symbolize, cast a long shadow and always will. I'm sad to see it go. I will always remember walking out on the field and looking up and seeing those names, Roger Starbucks and all those guys that are in the ring of honor and thinking to myself, that you play and play well. Don't you embarrass what those guys have built out here. Starbuck throwing in the end zone. Tony Hill, touchdown! 84-yard touchdown, Tony Dorsett! Emmett Smith has eclipsed Walter Payton as the NFL's all-time rushing leader. Oh, the stadium goes wild! I ain't never seen nothing like this. Just another day at the office.